Today we're traveling all the way from Umeå, Sweden to Melbourne, Australia. That is 15,387 kilometers or 9,561 miles to challenge the best artsy YouTuber to a diorama build off. But first, we gotta get there. So the whole plan is to challenge these secret YouTubers making a diorama using the keyword treasure hunt. And we all have to create something using 7 liters of resin. However, as the journey began, life wasn't going according to plan. And flights got delayed, we got denied entry on flights and had to spend a total over 64 hours on airports and in airplanes before landing in Melbourne. So the whole trip and the video recording process got cut with a total of two days. So, who is this fancy YouTuber then? Whoa. Oh, Sarah, Sarah, make it fire faster, better, faster, strong. It's not Emil from Squid, Mark. Meet Jessa. You're my hero! This is Dave! You were my hero. Hey, do you guys want to do something today? Uh, ooh, I mean, you're. Because we've prepared something. I don't know if you're down. You've prepared something? Yeah. Well, well that's be we haven't prepared this intro very well, so let's go do what you've prepared. <laughs> yes, I'm down. <laughs> You guys already know who we are here with. This is Jazza. He has the best art channel on YouTube. I'm actually a fanboy. You heard it here first, CHC. Yeah. <laughs> so. What are you gonna make? I am gonna make something cartoony and fun with polymer clay. I'm thinking water level in Mario. Yeah, okay, it's gonna be a fun challenge. And the tabletop time guys are over here. What are you guys doing? Well, what's more treasure hunt in 40K and tabletop games than Blackstone Fortress, so. I don't, I don't know what's more treasure hunt. So we're gonna be using uh, Blackstone Fortress models as well as some other models like Leagues of Otan to make a really cool scene of people plunging the depths of a Blackstone Fortress and stealing their loot. Yeah. Sounds like there's gonna be quite amazing uh, diorama. We gotta get started because we only have one and a half day. Where do they have spray cans? Looky, looky, looky. Let's just start. I'm gonna cut out a base for you so you can have something to actually stick your, your octopus on. Yeah, and we're gonna need that. And then we have a board for you, sir. Yes, happy. Oh. Well, I'm gonna glue this in place, use some modeling compound, and make it look like the Kraken is sort of like sunken into the bottom of the ocean with the sand and everything. I think it's gonna be pretty cool, so I'm just gonna get started and you'll see how it looks in a few seconds. My mission was to start prepping the base with our big burly monster. That's going to help us tell pretty much all of the story of the diorama. These guys are actually gonna be the main guys in the diorama. So I've finished off building them and we have this one. So we're looking at a compass using the binoculars to find out where they are. And this guy kneeling down, he's gonna be holding a treasure map. You can do this. He wants some plastic card. I got some plastic card for Luca. are quite finished now so I'm gonna start painting the freehand on the big ass treasure map which is gonna sort of bring together the entire piece and it's gonna look awesome hopefully let's start painting treasure maps <laughs> Oh, 
How's it going, Jessa? Slow. Yes. I've got a armature with a stick up his bum. Yeah. That's about as far as I've got. Looking oh, over this this glorious detailed diorama that's happened in the last hour, then I'm looking at this and I'm that's, like, that's yeah. ten times cuter. We're gonna go do some airbrushing on this. Come along, come along. I'm trying to keep up with you. Oh wow, I've seen this studio before. So weird. Yeah. Lucas was getting finished with his figures and I was more than halfway done with the octopus. Tabletop time, we're scheming. Do you see how this guy's got that hand out with the... With the he's got a grappling, grappling hook, yeah, but yeah. then he's holding like a comms array. Mm. So I figure... And Jessa, well... What are you doing? You introduced me to Swedish lollies and now I haven't worked for the last hour. They're pretty good. Um, the licorice is, I mean, you said it's a weak licorice. It's pretty intense. You know, I'm halfway through the bowl. So it's okay, well, oh, yeah. nice. Oh, this, yeah, I haven't touched this in ages. I'm really behind. And with that, back to the octopus. And why we do that? Let me talk about this week's sponsor, Squarespace. If you have a hobby or maybe a hobby business where you do stuff that you really enjoy doing and want to showcase that on the internet, Squarespace is that one platform for you. You can use one of their 100 bazillion different awesome looking award-winning templates to make your own website, design a gallery with a simple click, but also sell any products that you want online on that platform that you've designed. Meaning you have everything you need on the same place. The best thing is you can try out and build a website for yourself completely for free by following the link down below. And then when you're ready to launch the website, you can use the code SQUIDMAR to get 10% off off your entire purchase of a website or a domain. Speaking from my own experience, it's a fantastic platform. You cannot go wrong with Squarespace. Now, let's get back to building a diorama. You're doing a good job, Lucas. Thank you. I've always wanted to do some modeling compound work at the Sydney Opera House. That's nice. Are you still going on, Lucas? Yeah, and now I'm here at a kangaroo farm. And I don't know if you guys can hear me, but I'm here right among a big freaking rugby game. Since this big kraken octopus is gonna act as a makeshift island, of course we need some palm trees. But they look unpainted. Yeah, and plasticky, so we need to paint them. Good luck. So we're ready for day two and I think we came quite far yesterday. We're still in good time and I think even though we just have three, four more hours today to work on it, we're gonna be able to finish it. We had some orange leak through on the sand up here, so we're gonna have to paint that. Painting wood again, Lucas. Yes, I'm uh, Woody Allen.
With two hours to spare, we are finally done building up the acrylic frame for it. So I'm just gonna start mixing some of the resin and uh, we're just gonna get at it. Hopefully it, we don't mess it up. It's not like we've messed stuff up before, I don't know. How about a bit of that? Oh, know? thank you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> help, I'm helping. <laughs> I basically made this. So we poured five liters at first, but it wasn't quite enough. So we're doing two more. Um, it might not suffice, but uh, we gotta do what we gotta do. Guys, the resin pour is going to shit. Yeah. We're gonna steal some of these bottles of more resin. Tabletop time won't need it, hopefully. I've just realized I need like 20 more liters. Oh, fuck. Run. Ah, oh, shit. But as always with resin pours, something has to go wrong. The resin started heating up too fast, bubbles started rising from the bottom of the scene, as well as some minor leaks with just a few minutes to spare. There's either, there's a mix of a leak or air in there that, that's forcing its way up, but it's starting yeah. to set. But it looks really, really cool. Well, that's the thing. I reckon this we can turn this problem into an opportunity. Yeah. And fortunately, it's localized right around where the tentacle's coming up, right? Yeah. What we can do for you when this is set, we can put water texture, but right around here on top of the tentacle, we'll have it like starting to bubble up like a wave and splashing is starting to happen. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll do you proud, buddy. We've had a blast, but Lucas and I gotta run. You guys are, you got some work to do. We're, what, you, you're done. <laughs> it's all right, don't worry, we'll, we'll, we'll fix yours too. Okay, I'm a little bit worried. Yeah. But yeah, we gotta run because the cab is here, so. Thank you for coming. <laughs> it was a pleasure. I'm so, we've, we've been able to collab before, but yeah. to be able to collab in person yeah. is a rare yes. and special treat. Thank you for coming in. We've had a blast. Love See you guys next time. See you later. <laughs> See you later. Safe trip. And with that, we had left the diorama in the hands of the diorama god. As our flights left the land down under. Yeah. Uh, oh my god, this needs a lot of love. We've got some pretty bad news to report. Yeah, it turns out if you rush things, it doesn't always go to plan, things go wrong very quickly. But basically the issue is that that much resin cracked. We're gonna try and fix this. Hey! Victory! Oh. We're gonna try and fix this. Yep, time to set up a workshop of doom. So, I'm kind of shocked. This, it worked. You can, you, you can see, like, cool. <laughs> 2,000 years later. We made it back. <laughs> Flights there were fantastic. No. No. That was terrible. 60 hours, my God. You know what's not terrible? Hey, guys, Dude. guess what? We've got your diorama. Yeah. It's a very heavy, big resin pour. I'm gonna be honest with you. It didn't go smoothly <laughs> when you left. So you're saying that it didn't end up perfectly when we left? It did not, but you know what? None of ours did. I think we've all learned some interesting lessons about resin in this collaboration. Did you finish in time though? Two days? Yeah, you know, totally. <laughs> I totally didn't spend two weeks doing incremental pause so I don't oh ruin Lord. my diorama. Yeah. <laughs>
There is a saying that goes, the wise man learns from experience, the wiser man learns from others' experience. Both of you had had things go wrong that I tried yeah. to learn from. It still wasn't smooth. It was containable enough that I was able to produce roughly what I aimed at. Oh, which yeah. is, God uh, damn. But that's, <laughs> dude, you gotta be happy with that. That is freaking amazing. I'm very happy with yeah. that. I'm yeah. really happy with that. From a distance, like a meter and a half away, it's yeah. actually kind of perfect. How many liters of <laughs> resin did you end up using? I lost count and I ran out of resin, but it's a, over a thousand dollars of resin. Oh, yeah. So it's, it's safe to say the seven liters of resin wasn't enough? Oh, well, yeah, I mean, but it wasn't for you either, was it, Smarty <laughs> Pants? <laughs> Whee! Well, Dave and Jenna have their first holiday and the day out of their, their first holiday in ages, they did their resin pour and, uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, what uh, the hell? Yeah. Well, what happened? <laughs> I feel that I feel so gutted for him because you saw how much they work they put in the in he the, like the three D sculpted his own details and yeah. But with that said, the tabletop team have gone nuts to rescue yours and actually it's turned out phenomenal. Oh, uh, it's heavy. We should move to the grand, the grand reveal. <laughs> Jazza's YouTube channel is pretty fantastic. Yeah, and the tabletop time guys? You guys and should girls? go, yeah. What? Go subscribe to their channels because the videos that they're gonna produce from this challenge is gonna be pretty freaking lit. Like their stuff was so good looking. You don't wanna miss that out. Yeah. As always, thanks to the wonderful lot of patrons who pledge a few dollars every month. And a massive thanks to Squarespace. Seriously, if you guys wanna make a website for whatever project you have, just check out the link down below. You're, you're not gonna regret it, I haven't.